So the Apple Silicon MacBooks have been out for a few years now, and it's always been worth it for a lot of people to just upgrade to a brand new MacBook that has Apple Silicon instead of buying a used Intel one. But I wondered, are the last Intel MacBooks still any good? And should you pick one up for yourself? So I'm going to first start by talking about some of the benefits with an Intel MacBook over an Apple Silicon one. One of the main benefits with an Intel MacBook is, let's say you need to run an Intel app. Well, on the Apple Silicon MacBook, you're running it through an emulation layer called Rosetta. And sometimes that can slow down performance or cause technical issues. But with an Intel MacBook, you don't have to worry about that because the Intel apps are made specifically for Intel and it should work you know, just right. Now, one thing I will mention though is, even though like on the newer Apple Silicon Macs, when you're running it for an emulation layer, it can still sometimes run faster, you know, quite honestly than the Intel one. So just keep that in mind, you know, that Apple Silicon chips are better and that can kind of cancel out that problem. Another benefit too with Intel is, let's say you want to run Windows on your computer and you don't want to do it through a cloud service because your internet connection isn't super great or you just like the idea of having a copy of Windows locally in your computer, uh, you need to buy an Intel MacBook in order to do that. Unfortunately, I don't think Microsoft has any plans on bringing uh, Windows to the newer you know, M MacBooks, but uh, for now, you are gonna have to get an Intel MacBook if you wanna run Windows on the computer. Another benefit too with an Intel MacBook is if you plan on using it for just web browsing, like just basic web browsing, basic work, the Intel MacBook performance wise is going to be good enough for you. Uh, there's no need for you to go spend, you know, a thousand plus dollars on a nice Apple Silicon laptop when for like 500, 600, you can get a nice Intel MacBook for just browsing the web. So that's just something to consider it can save you quite a bit of money. A lot of the Intel MacBook Pros made between 2016 to about 2020 have this thing called a touch bar, which is basically a little display that you can use to adjust the brightness and stuff like that. And unfortunately, like the newer 15 inch, 16 inch M series of MacBook Pros don't have that touch bar. Now for the people like the smaller MacBooks, you can get an M1 or an M2 MacBook Pro with that touch bar, but it's gonna be a few hundred dollars more on the used market. So if you're willing to spend that extra few hundred, you know, it's not really that big of an issue, but if you like having those big laptops if you're on a budget, uh, an Intel MacBook is definitely better if you like that touch bar. So now that we're talking about some of the benefits with an Intel MacBook, let's talk about some of the benefits with an Apple Silicon MacBook. So one of the main benefits with Apple Silicon is honestly better performance. If you're doing things like photo editing, video editing, it's gonna run a lot better on an Apple Silicon MacBook than on an Intel one. Another thing too is Apple Silicon has these special encoders that helps with video editing, photo editing, so for those professionals, it is going to be definitely better. Another cool benefit too with Apple Silicon and probably a big reason for a lot of people is battery life. An Intel MacBook typically gets around 10 hours of battery life, whereas with an Apple Silicon MacBook, you can get like 17 plus hours of battery life, you know, if you just use it for, you know, web browsing. So that extra battery life can definitely be pretty handy if like you want it to last you a full day or you don't have to charge your laptop all the time. So just maybe consider that, maybe worth the extra few hundred to get that nice MacBook, that very good battery life. And then some final two quick benefits of Apple Silicon is one, it is gonna last you longer. You know, likely the Apple Silicon MacBooks, like if you get you know, the M1 or M2 MacBook Air, it's gonna last you at least a year or two longer than what the Intel MacBooks are likely gonna last you. Another thing too with Apple Silicon is you'll have better integration with iPhone and iPad apps. So there's a Mac app store on these, you know, Mac computers and you can download iPhone and iPad apps on Apple Silicon MacBooks, but there's only like a select few you can download. So don't think you can run, you know, Minecraft and all your favorite iOS apps on it. Unfortunately, the developer has to allow it and not quite a lot do. So why should you buy an Intel MacBook? Well, you should buy an Intel MacBook if you like having that touch bar and you don't wanna spend more than like five, $600. And another reason too is if you're looking for those 15 inch, 16 inch MacBooks and you like having that touch bar, you're not gonna find an Apple Silicon one with that. So you are gonna to have to buy a used Intel one. 
And then the final reason to buy an Intel MacBook is if you like running Windows on your computer, you don't have to run it for like any cloud service, you just want it on your computer. It's definitely gonna have to be an Intel MacBook. You can't do that whatsoever on a Apple Silicon one. And then if you want an Apple Silicon MacBook, it's definitely worth getting if you like having that extra battery life, you do a lot of creative stuff and you need the extra performance. I uh, want it to last you a bit longer and you just like having, you know, a newer MacBook, you have that extra money to spend. Uh, it's definitely worth getting an Apple Silicon MacBook over a used Intel one. So probably by now you have a better understanding on if you should get a Apple Silicon MacBook or an Intel MacBook. Uh, if I ever make review videos on Apple Silicon MacBooks, I'll leave that up on screen. And thank you guys for watching. Happy computing.